nice white roast beef. Didn't I do the Death Star ham the year you ate with us for Thanksgiving? I think you did. Yeah. I was kind of brilliant myself, but this is me. That's because you couldn't get the Statue of Liberty from Spaceballs put together quick enough. Well, that's true. Mega Maid. Mega Maid, yes. <clears throat> Gotta suck up all that valuable oxygen. <laughs> They use the Schwartz to switch from suck to boil. I always like the ending when they're all trying to get out of those escape pods. You got Rick Moranis, mm -hmm. George Weiner, and Mel Brooks all fighting for one pod. Mm -hmm. Well, fellas, I think it's a lovely slip. I think you all should go down with it. <laughs> of course, Mel Brooks wants his own ship, wants his own pod to go when he mm -hmm. escapes. Brooks, definitely one of the great comedy geniuses, geniuses of his time. Didn't he, didn't he the one that did Blazing Saddles? Mm -hmm. yep. Also yep. did uh, Get Smart. Oh, yeah. Blazing Saddles, though, is a movie that will never be, that will never be recreated, never be redone. You can never redo that. Yeah, never. In, in the current political climate or social climate, that'll, that'll never happen again. Most definitely. It was intended to offend everyone. Everyone. <laughs> the sarcasm was not spared on any group. Sure. Leave on. Leave on little. Leave on little. Yep. Leave on little. Because right, right, you played Chevy Chase's butler in Fletch Lips. You did. I'd be Calculus Energy. You'd be Mr. Business Ledger. I'd be Fletch. Geometry Fresh. Fletch. You'd be Mr. Trigonometry Ross. <laughs> Yep, yep. <laughs> Arlene Army as the televangelist was so funny and perfect. 